Okay, so as you know, time in tarot is uh, linear. So this may be happening now, it may, ha it may already happen in the past, or it may happen in the future. Now, I pre-shuffled uh, the cards because for the moment um, it's very hard to focus yet uh, into these energy while um, also trying to take care of uh, technical aspects. So they're laid out here in one row. Okay, uh, the reading is uh, different from, uh, I mean, the spread is different from what I've already done for, <clears throat> let's see, Aries, Taurus, and Cancer, I think. Maybe Gemini. Um, but I chose to go with this format. So let's see for Aries season. Now, a few words before this. Um, Libra. Uh, what I've been telling the other sign so far is that uh, if you have set up New Year's resolution for the 1st of January and maybe some of you uh, would find that um, you already have given up or failed on your New Year's resolution, uh, please take into account the fact that 1st of January is actually the one of the worst times to uh, begin to implement something. Why? Because it's winter, uh, we're still sluggish, we're still hibernating in a way, we're still animals at, uh, at the very base of our being. Uh, so if you notice this about you or people around, about New Year's resolution, uh, don't uh, Try not to be too hard on yourself. Why? Because now in Aries season, uh, after the new moon in Aries on the 21st of March and after the spring equinox on the 24th, I think it's the most beautiful time to start and implement, um, I don't know, new workouts, new habits, uh, start a new project, everything that is uh, new, Aries related will go just fine in this uh, period with the given restrictions uh, if you think about the current pandemic okay pre-shuffle the cards one row six of wands five of swords four of cups two of swords and ace of pentacles so here we have uh, six of cups so this is like a very wise person uh, they have their gathering of people following them uh, they have here like the hawk on uh, their shoulder, so this would be uh, wisdom. Okay, so I think at the beginning, so I believe that at the beginning of every season, you would uh, start given this um, elevated stance in a way. Okay, it also talks about... Um, I wouldn't say some sort of a hierarchy, but this is indeed an enlightened person and... and you can clearly see in the card he is uh, somewhat elevated above the others. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that you have a couple of people around you, family, friends, colleagues, uh, a lot of people looking up, uh, up to you. And maybe they're waiting on your plan of uh, action. In regards to a certain situation because right after six is like we downgress uh we have six five okay so this would be five of swords okay so this would be conflict okay so you have your awesome a posse of people here just hanging around and afterwards it's sort of like the situation digresses it's uh the classical thing that you see in old movies uh stories uh, and things of the sorts you have like the um the current uh, affairs you have like peace and quiet and afterwards there you have like, the conflict now five of uh, five of swords um it's related uh, to five the hierophant from the major arcana now, this would be a clear conflict. If you think about swords, swords it represents the element of uh, air. And all air signs, as you know them, this type of energy is pretty sharp, pretty snappy, okay? Uh, it's very quick to act or 
quick to draw the sword so uh, when you get into the five of swords uh, situation um, there will be arguments flying back and forth so please try to keep a level mind when you're going through this why because it's uh, it's not ideal to regret uh, something after the fact after it has happened so it's better to watch your words in a way even if you get um, extremely heated about the matter uh, about the heart of the matter okay uh, try to keep a level head mm, not uh, not so easy energy here with uh, this five of swords mm. but it's okay why because right after I feel I feel we're going backwards. We're <laughs> we're kind of backtracking to solve the issue, and I've seen the same thing yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, for uh, Virgos. And maybe you are um, maybe you are dealing with a Virgo, or you uh, you have someone around you manifesting this energy. So. Uh, we have the wisdom here, we got you all prepped, we have your people uh, supporting you, looking up to you, and here comes this five of swords, like the conflict. And right after, after you solve it, I think you need a moment to pause, like a moment for yourself to actually integrate what has happened. Uh, because as you can see, the first two cards would be fire and air, so these are the energies that are quick moving compared to uh, water and earth. Water and earth are more nurturing energies. Uh, fire and air are, I don't know, more violent, more vicious, more quick to act. Uh, four of cups. Okay, so you truly need to go, uh, I don't know, go meditate, go do some yoga, go take some time <clears throat> for yourself, like really replenish your energy level, like you see this fruitful belly here in... Uh, in uh, the card, um, we're talking here about emotional balance. Okay, so whatever helps you, um, <clears throat> I will give you um, a very good example here, mostly for my feminine viewers. Um, whenever you s you feel out of whack or your feminine energy is all over the the place. I would really suggest you take a bath and really go all out. I mean, just go all out, whatever you have in your house, even if uh, you only have salt, for example, like kosher salt or coarse uh, salt, you could take like uh, half a kilo, uh, drop it into a warm bubble bath and just enjoy, just sit there, center yourself, feel into the body, take time, okay, uh, given that we're in quarantine for the moment, it's, uh, it's a great time to um, do some research, okay, and this is all up to you, everything is up for grabs in a way, so if you don't like yoga, um, try something else, okay, uh, try breathing exercises, try some sort of meditation that works for you. And if you feel you don't have success with a certain practice uh, for a week, normally I would recommend like one or two months to actually get the hang of it, okay? Um, try, to, try to switch it up, Libra, okay? Find the thing that uh, really helps you center. So we had like the initial state, then we had the conflict, now we're centering ourselves, and also this is the center card, so the emphasis should be on you centering yourself, on not letting other people uh, disturb this inner peace uh, that uh, you have after uh, you center yourself. Here we come to a conclusion. Uh, to a conclusion, I'm sorry. Uh, to another... Um, pause moment where um, you need to take a decision. So Two of Swords uh, normally talks about um, a decision that should be made. Now we have this two and we also have the swords. Now 
It's usually uh, this, the two of swords is it's not a very easy energy. Most of people think, uh, oh, it's just a decision. This shouldn't be so so easy. Now, uh, the two of swords uh, in normal classical tarot, uh, you would have the two swords hanging like at the person's chest, and the person is veiled. Now. Uh, we're going to talk about the symbol that uh, represents you, Libra. Uh, if you think of justice, you would normally have, um, let's see, uh, this, the statue for justice, which represents uh, justice, is a female figure, um, which is uh, blindfolded, okay? And she holds out exactly your, your symbol, She's uh, holding the two scales, uh, and the two of swords from um, the classic Rider Waite uh, tarot has uh, the same uh, sim symbolism in a way. Okay, so uh, it will probably be hard for you to take a decision. I mean the. Hmm. When you take a decision, usually you have two elements and you give up one. So I'm thinking that it would be hard for you to give up the, the other alternative um, that you have. But uh, the two of swords should be, uh, I don't know, like second nature for you. Okay, because Libra, you, you actually represent the scales and uh, you weigh a lot of things on a daily basis and throughout uh, life. So, hard, I consider it as being hard, but for you it should be, it should be okay to go through this. And after uh, <laughs> uh, you go through um, this uh, choice, right after... We have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, no time is wasted in a way. Once you made your decision, here you have, like, uh, the start card for... This is a start. This is um, fertility. This is a seed that you take, you put it into the ground, and uh, it just needs your nurturing, your energy. So, please try to enjoy this new beginning that... Uh, you have here uh, Libra okay uh, I find it funny the theme here that uh, we're reversing back to um, to the ace of Pentacles so we started with the six five four we don't have the free maybe it's uh, not necessary I see it uh, to uh, missing uh, here mm. Yeah, uh, what I'm thinking is that you have two uh, stagnant points here back to back uh, because you really need to be centered. So there's more action on the inside of you that is uh, going on compared to what is in the external environment. Your how should I say, your um, attention will be drawn to these two moments in time. And afterwards, here, you have a clean slate um, and something very beautiful to start working on. Even if it's uh, rediscovering, I don't know, your own soul. It's like with the two of swords here, you choose to put you first, to put your projects in the limelight. 